Hello, I am Melissa Menzies, Doctor of Audiology, and in today's episode of Barry TV, we will address some common questions I receive regarding tinnitus. First, many patients will ask me, how is it pronounced? Tinnitus or tinnitus are both correct. Many people will describe tinnitus as a ringing, clicking, roaring, or buzzing in their ears that is constant or comes and goes and may even vary in volume intensity. If you experience tinnitus, you are not alone. According to the American Tinnitus Association, over 45 million Americans experience tinnitus, making it one of the most common health conditions in the United States. While most people will habituate to their tinnitus over time, for over 2 million Americans, it can cause debilitating symptoms such as depression, anxiety, cognitive dysfunction, and insomnia. So what causes these phantom sounds? While there are over 200 origins of tinnitus, we believe damage to the ear causes the brain to turn up its own internal amplifier to replace the sounds it is missing. Noise-induced hearing loss is an extremely common source of tinnitus. Other common causes of tinnitus include age-related hearing loss, earwax blocking the ear canal, acoustic trauma, fireworks, loud concerts, and gunshot blasts, head injuries, jaw problems such as TMJ. Certain drugs can also damage the ear and cause tinnitus, as well as stress. Another question I receive is, is there a cure for tinnitus? While there is currently no cure for tinnitus, please realize there are many evidence-based treatment options available. Cognitive behavioral therapy, otherwise known as CBT, has been shown to be extremely effective at helping identify alternative thoughts, behaviors, and strategies when it comes to tinnitus. Sound therapy is another valid method to distract your attention from the sound of tinnitus and can reduce the perception of tinnitus by retraining the brain. We also know that about 60% of those experiencing tinnitus and hearing loss find a reduction or even an elimination of their tinnitus when wearing properly fit hearing aids. Each person with tinnitus is unique and tinnitus treatment options must be individually tailored. I would like to emphasize that before beginning any of the above treatment options, it is important to have your hearing evaluated by an audiologist and see an ear, nose, and throat doctor to rule out any other underlying medical issues. Finally, please be cautious when considering any over-the-counter or, or herbal remedy to treat your tinnitus as they have not been scientifically shown to work and may interfere with prescribed medications you take. Also, while the internet contains a wealth of information, be mindful of scams, unstructured social media groups, and overpriced so-called cures. The American Tinnitus Association website, seen here, is an excellent resource. I hope this information was helpful, and we look forward to seeing you on another episode of Barry TV. Barry Hearing, restoring the joy.